Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, I don't really know where to start, but I'm going to go ahead and say uh, it was a while ago. And I made a promise to God that I would start to be more open with <clears throat> expressing my gratitude. Um, and also sharing parts of me that I usually don't share with people. Um, so what motivated me to do this video today was I was in the store <clears throat> and I walked past this older gentleman today and when I walked past now I don't I don't know who it was he had his mask on um and I was walking past him and he goes hey Keisha daughter you know Keisha is my mom of course so I just bust out this big smile and I said hey how you doing and I kept moving, um, but God and my mother, for me, goes hand in hand because, of course, my mother is the one that introduced me to God, of course. Um, now, I don't know if you all watching this video are familiar with uh, speaking in tongues <clears throat> excuse me speaking in tongues but my mother is blessed with that gift and I find myself when I'm in really really bad desperation to be closer to God I find myself calling her to pray for me sometimes now, that's nothing new either, you know. Now they say you have a praying grandmother or a praying mother or you're doing really well. Um, you're covered in life because you have people that are constantly praying for you. That's not something that is of, you know. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm having trouble with my words. Um. Um, the women in my family are really, really special. <clears throat> I don't know, <clears throat> source-wise, where we come from before we came here. Uh, but intuitively, a lot of us are really, really connected to the higher source. Um, it's very magical to me. I, I don't share this with a lot of people. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I never have really other than my family members, of course, but um, <clears throat> I receive messages in my dreams. And this has been going on for years since I was a kid. <clears throat> I received messages. Uh, I don't want to take it as far as to say I'm psychic or anything like that, but I be knowing some shit. Um, there are other women in my family that are the same way. Um, this post in particular, I want to personally thank my mom. Um. <clears throat> um. 
she's really, really special. So, when I call her, <laughs> and I ask her to pray for me, <clears throat> it doesn't matter where she's at. She'll do it. Even if she has to go in the closet to get away from whatever she's doing. And I think that's the highest form of love. <clears throat> um, recently, I call her to do this for me, was to pray for me. And um, she speaks in tongues sometimes, as I said before. And when I was younger, of course, I didn't understand it. But I do recall one time, this was before cell phones. Um, this was around the time that she discovered that she had that gift. And she would try to record herself. And I'm the oldest of her children. I don't know if the other ones remember this or not, but <clears throat> she would try to record herself so that she can hear it or play it back because she didn't understand what she was saying. And every time that she would go to record herself, everything else that she says on the recording would be there when she's speaking English. <laughs> but when she was speaking songs, it would not record. I'm making this video for the people that are lost. For those who may not believe. It's real. God is real. That connection is real. And when I called her recently and had her pray for me. She said something that really touched me. She, she asked God to take away all the clouds and let the sun shine back through. And then she started to speak in tongues. Now, I don't understand what she's saying. But it's the most beautiful language I've ever heard. And it does something to me for me and I'm so thankful to have life and to have the source of where I come from be her because I know without a shadow of a doubt that she has a relationship with God that I don't have yet But whatever it is, it's the most beautiful, highest form of love I've ever seen <laughs> or heard. And again, I made a promise to God that I would start to be more open in expressing my gratitude for the spiritual relationship that I have with him. And to express that to people. <laughs> because if you follow me, you may see me, you know, of course, I'm into crystals. Um, <clears throat> oracle cards, all types of things. I'm, I'm really open to all types of things because I know that the world that we live in is not simple. It's a lot going on here that you can see and can't see at all times on different levels. And if you're not tapped into that, you need to start, no matter what you do, take that time to yourself to build that relationship with God again if you don't have it. <clears throat> um, For me, some years back, I lost religion. Excuse me. I lost religion. 
Um, and I lost religion because my grandfather passed away. And I felt that pain so strong that it made me second guess everything else. It was like, how can there be a God if we lose things that we love so much like this people? How can, we, how can there be a God if the world is so bad and evil things happen so much? Where is God at? I lost religion around that time. But then as the years started passing and I started healing and just looking into myself deeper, um, I stopped ignoring the fact that I'm special and I've been special and I've known I was special for a really, really long time. When it comes to spirituality, there's things that I've seen, felt, heard that I can't really explain to other people because they probably wouldn't believe me. Um, and then there were times where I know I wasn't living right, partying, drinking, X, Y, Z, and I still was experiencing those spiritual things very, very strongly. And that scared me away from spirituality too, because the way I looked at it is if I'm not even trying and these things are happening to me, I'm nervous to purposefully practice or connect because if this is how strong it is and I'm not trying what's going to happen if I do and I wasn't ready for that but I'm ready now I've been ready for the past over the past year I've been consciously saying and praying to God to be audible to me to connect with me again to open me up again spiritually um, and to heal those parts of me and I'm so thankful again to have a mother in my life who when I call her she guides me but she's not by herself when she does it She's not. She has a connection to God that is so beautiful. And I can only hope to experience that one day. So, Keisha Jones, I thank you so much for praying for me when you do. When I ask you to, when I when I don't know that you're doing it. Thank you. Um, and for everybody else watching this video, you know, it's random, it's, it's random. <laughs> but it's not at the same time. Again, I know the promises that I made to God and I know what I got to do to keep it. And that's what I'm doing, um, starting, starting now. Uh, also, I want to say nobody's perfect. And I want to say, don't be confused. Um, I cuss my ass off. I curse. Um, I have a temper. Um, but I'm working on that. And sometimes you hold on to people, places, and things out of comfort when what God really wants you to do is be by yourself, alone, so that you can fully understand yourself without any distractions because a lot of times things are just that, it's just distractions. 
Um, and I'm ready for that. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can leave them below. Um, if you have the gift of speaking in tongues, share your experience because I'm so curious about it. It sounds so foreign, yet I know it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know what she says when she does it. But whatever it is, it's touching something in me so deeply. Like, I feel so loved and so at peace when I hear it. And I'm just amazed that this is the person that I came from. It's so grateful to have that. That's it. I hope you guys have a, a blessed day. And know that no matter what you consider your religion, spirituality, beliefs, whatever the case may be. Just know that there's something way, way, way greater than we could ever fathom that loves us from a deep, deep, deep place. Sometimes loves us more than we love ourselves. But that's where you gotta you gotta do the work. You have to do that work to connect your body and your spirit. Like connect it. Like you can't have them separate. And you gotta work for that. But my mom has definitely mastered it. That connection is is A1. And um I'm I'm blessed and I'm thankful. <laughs>